There you go. Ripon Cathedral. Well, we're in Ripon. Behind us is the fabulous Ripon Cathedral. Now, what are we here to do today, Jonathan? Um, I'm rehearsing and you're playing the piano and because we're going to do Tom's new animation. My new animation. A cathedral story. A cathedral story. Let's head into the cathedral. A great start, Jonathan. <laughs> Yeah, sounds good, um, yeah. Um, I'll say we're number eight. I'll have to copy everything to number eight. Hello there. Well, I've left Jonathan to set up the organ. This is something that he takes a long time doing. He chooses his stops, etc, etc. Anyway, I've left him to it. And uh, I thought I'd take him outside. And we have a, a lovely day here in Ripon. So I thought we could, uh, you know, just have a little stroll. There you go. Fantastic. I've got 4% battery. Hello, Jonathan. 4%? <laughs> <laughs> I've got 4% battery. So, okay, Jonathan, tell us about this wonderful organ here at Ripon Cathedral. Right, it looks like a basic sort of four manual organ, but you've got some amazing, amazing effects. You've got all the usual sort of swell, like, and sort of grey. But you've got this set of trombers on the grey. Instead of normal trumpets, you have these set of them just gives you this amazing sound on the solo it's all enclosed on the side and you've got a ch small tuba which you can use as a solo mm. um, you've got I think usual clarinet and oboe but you've also got this orchestral trumpet so. And then you've got this tuba. It's a very big sound. And then it's you, it's a scary sound. Right, it's scary. <laughs> then you think you've got those on the pedal as well. Oh, we're up down to the pedals. Carries on down to the. Right down to this. From here, it's miles away. Very powerful. So you can end up with this ridiculous. Well, you don't get many organs it's which sound like that. Amazing. It's an <laughs> Brilliant, amazing Jonathan. Sound. Thanks for that. <laughs> absolutely massive pipes. It's like a hairdryer. Um, this is the largest square in Ripon. Local pigeon. Hello there. And now this is an interesting moment. We're about to do our concert this evening at Ripon Cathedral. Um, so it should be fun. We're in the choir. We're not doing it here, there is an audience on the other side. There's an audience side. on the other side, yeah. Can't wait. We're back home. We're back from Ripon. <laughs> Say something. Oh, sorry. Uh, yes, right. we are. We're, we're back great. home and we're off just to do a little bit of practice. <laughs> you mind that. Um, <laughs> we're off to do a little bit of practice, uh, piano duets, because we're off to Alkmaar. 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 For the Holland Organ Festival. Yes. And we're playing piano duets. So we, we need to just. And the organ. And the organ. But we're just going to do a bit of practice. Very nice. Oh, fly to on my nose. Anyway, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want these um, travel diaries to be too staged. Do you know what I mean? I don't want like to be overacting on them. Like, oh look, a tree. Obviously, there is a tree there. <laughs> you 
You don't quite a nice tree. To, you don't want it to be stale. This is all getting cut out of this video, of course. <laughs> Pop them around. They're about the same height. Wonderful. Okay, you don't need to see any more of this practice session. This was uh, just a, a little bit of an insight into our exciting lives. Okay, goodbye. Okay, GoPro, stop recording. Actually, I've not got the voice feature on, so it's not going to do that. I'll just turn it off. I always fancied turning up to a concert in a speedboat. No, I didn't. And stand in front of it, Jonathan. <laughs> I did just like stand in front of it. Oh, oh we're in Alkmaar. What's that sound? It's the Carillon. It's the Carillon. Isn't that nice? Keep, hang on, let's stop listening to the Carillon. Do you know this one? No. If you know the words, sing along. There we go. There's lots of um, lots of bicycles behind Jonathan, which can only mean one thing. <laughs> we're in the Netherlands, and we're actually at the Holland Orgel Festival, or. Orgel Festival Holland, as it's uh, rightly known. Look at the size of the banner on this. Fantastic. It, it look, I know you look online, it doesn't look that big, does it? No, no, it is. It's very big. It's a massive chair. <laughs> it looks massive. It looks really good. Nightmare to write them in like this. Nightmare registrations. You have to leave me to do concentrate this time. I'll never get it done. Thank you. Stop it. Ah, it's quite peaceful. Well, that was interesting. Hello, Jonathan's just practicing upstairs, up the staircase. Let's go and see him. It's a very windy staircase. Jonathan, we found you. I put the tremolins on. Very nice, I can hear it. <laughs> okay, let, I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna get my breath back, we'll have a little chat about it. Jonathan, tell me a bit about this organ. That's what people want to know. Oh, it's a very historical organ. It was built in the 1640s by Van Hagen and then rebuilt in the 1700s by yeah. Schnitke. Yeah. But it's very, um, it's completely original style. So the pedal board is this sort of old Dutch style when it goes to a D, the keyboards also only go up to a D. Ah. They're quite short. Now and people have actually asked you how you manage to, uh, you know, change the way that you play so that you can get used to these uh, pedal get, boards. You just get used to where they are. On these Dutch ones you have a, a somewhere to put your feet, you always see... Oh, that looks very comfy. Yeah, because the pedal board is much <laughs> further back. So you get used to using this to adjust where you are on the pedal board. Yes. Um, and the, obviously it's completely flat and straight. And these the little back notes are further back. Well, you play in a slightly different way. That's why people don't tend to change their shoes as much because there's such a big spacing back. Okay. It's comfortable. But it's, it's changing back to Basically, habit. you just have to get used to you it. You just have to get used to it. But I'm quite, you, you get used to them very quickly. It's getting used to back to the normal pedal board that I'm used to at home is more difficult because you, your spacings are completely wrong. The hardest bit is the stops. Ah, the stops. They're, they're example, quite a far away. Example, if, I, <laughs> if I want to change the sound, yes. these are quite heavy. <laughs> So if you pull out one stop on its own, you have to really pull it because it's pulling a piece of wood 30, 40 feet up in the air. No, see, yeah. So as the chain stops, you've got to get hold of them, literally pull them out. So you're going to have some help <laughs> doing those out. today, I think, in the concert. Yeah, but to, which I think, to yeah, check my sounds. <laughs> I'm just getting on and off at the moment. It's quite hard work. But well, it's sounding very nice. It's an amazing instrument. I'll leave you to it, Jonathan. Thank you very much. The trundling you can hear is my suitcase. Is this the uh, the town hall, Jonathan? I think so, yes. We think so. Oh, it's beautiful. 
beautiful. Look at you, Sean. Which one should we go to? playing in this theatre later on. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Are you looking forward to it, Jonathan? I'm looking forward to it, yes. Wonderful. Let's see what if we can find the way in. <laughs> if we can find the way in. Yeah. Stage over there. Yeah, it's a nice theatre. Yeah.